Gil from GPS Medical, and today we're going to discuss the Sonosite M Turbo mm, Ultrasound. Turbo. The M Turbo. Mm, turbo. Yummy. M. Mm. Sonosite mm, M Turbo. Turbo. Not the M. Mm. Mm, turbo. You've almost got it. Excuse me for a minute. Mm. Mm, turbo. Mm, turbo. So I've always been a big fan of the Sonoside ultrasound systems because of their durability, good image quality, and relative ease of use. Not a whole lot of thinking to do on these because they don't really let you do a whole lot to them. It's a bonus and it's also a negative depending on what you want to do. Now the M Turbo is the top of the line currently. It does command a premium price and it is designed for specific markets. Typically that kind of market is one where the physician is doing the ultrasound scanning. It isn't someone who's going to be spending the whole day doing an ultrasound scan. If you are an uh, OB tech, you really don't want this system. You don't want to spend the entire day uh, using this system and trying to do all your measurements and calculation. It really has everything to do with the user interface. And I am picky about a user interface and I do really like the M Turbo and all the Sonosite products, but really you want to think about the market that you're in before you go ahead and spend this kind of money. Now, let's go over the positives of this system. First of all, the fast boot. I mean, I think this is 6 or 13 seconds. They're all somewhere in that range, which is usually about a minute faster as the nearest competitor. And that's really nice in a certain situation, again, where it's a physician probably using it as a tool for something else, such as uh, musculoskeletal or needle guide and ejections. The reason is, is that it's not that complicated of a system. And because of that, you're limited into the things that you can do with it. As far as optimizing an image, things that you would think would be simple on another system, you really can't do them on this. And that involves a lot of image optimization. But most people using this kind of a system, uh, such as the M-Turbo, the Micromax, the Titan, they're turning it on, they're getting an image, and they're moving on to something else. So we're talking about a needle-guided injection, you know, uh, nerve blocks, musculoskeletal imaging, things where you're just using it to image and not necessarily taking a lot of measurements. If you are an OB tech and you call me and ask for this, I will say no. So that'll save you a phone call right there. You can use it for that. I just wouldn't recommend it, and uh, anyone who tells you different just wants to sell you that system, in my opinion. The uh, things I love about this system include durability. These things are rock solid. They were built uh, as triage units originally uh, in the military. They built it to last, they built it to not break, and they don't. They're really, really durable. They're great systems. And then you also have the fact that it boots up in somewhere between 6 and 13 seconds. I don't recall what it is for the M-Turbo, but it doesn't really matter when it's that quick. So when you're in that kind of situation where you need to pull it off the shelf, get a quick image, uh, emergency department, or anything of that sort, you turn it on, boot it up, get your image, put it back. And if you have a lot of different people using it, you don't have to worry about them breaking it or messing anything up because you really have to dig deep to, to make a lot of changes into this system. So here we are with the system. Quick boot up. I'll hit the power button and you'll see it boots up extremely quickly. Um, if you've got a stopwatch, you can time it yourself. But once you hit that, you are ready to go. It has the full array of probes, even a TEE for transesophageal imaging, which is hard to find on portable units today. So it's already ready to go. So whatever you're doing, whether you have one probe or three, there's different configurations in which you can attach three probes and switch uh, between them as you're doing the scanning. Now, as you'll see, the monitor is very small. That uh, does provide some limitations for what you're doing. Now, the M Turbo has quite a few different things on it, particularly USB ports. runs off a different operating system than the old ones, and there's a little less frustrating features about it as far as exporting images and using them on a PC. The previous versions, uh, the Micromax and Sonosite, were kind of difficult to do, saving compact flash, and it wasn't a whole lot of fun. You just see how limited it is in space here, and there's not a lot more to it like uh, some of the other systems where they're hiding all sorts of menus and, and changing the presets and all that through uh, various layers of uh, menu systems. But this, it's pretty much what you see is what you get. There's uh, some soft menus here to change your image quality, but there's not a whole lot in a custom preset or anything of the sort. Um, that would allow you to really have control over the imaging system, which again is nice for some, but not so nice for others. 
So here's some images I took on myself here. Here's my carotid artery, and we'll move on to my wrist. You'll see uh, the incredible definition the M-Turbo gives you at a musculoskeletal and vascular level. Here's a shot of my ankle and also my thyroid. And also I took some images on a phantom here with needles provided by the excellent company Havels. And some of these are echogenic needles, and you can see how bright the images are when you use an echogenic needle like here. And finally, we'll wrap up with a little cardiac image. So the million dollar question on this is, is it worth the money? There is a premium price for the M-Turbo. Um, it is a very good imaging system, like the other Sonosites. Is it better than the Micromax? Yes. Is it that much better than the Micromax? That's hard to say. So whenever you're watching this video, make sure that you... Uh, see what else is on the market. Uh, give me a call and I'll tell you, um, you know, if this is 2014 and you're watching this, things have changed. This is 2011 in February. So give us a call, 866-347-7633. I can give you more of my thoughts on the M-Turbo. Really, it all depends on what you are doing as to whether this is the right system for you or not. So uh, give us a call and I'll talk to you soon.